In order to calculate free cash flow to firm, we'll start with our income statement and get the bottom line, which is net income. Then, which items here in our expenses in the income statement we don't actually pay? We call it non-cash expense. It's depreciation. So this one is called non-cash expense because in reality we don't pay depreciation or amortization to any other part. Therefore, we need to add back depreciation. Remember, what do you mean by free cash flow to firm? This is the cash flow available to both debt holders and shareholders. Therefore, this means that this is the cash flow available before we pay anything to debt holders or equity holders. Look at this income statement here. Before net income, did we pay anything to debt holders or equity holders? Yes, we paid interest to debt holders. Therefore, we need to add back our interest. But remember that interest is tax deductible. Therefore, we need to multiply it by one minus tax rate. Therefore, we will add interest expense multiplied by one minus tax rate. So, for any firm to stay in business and keep operating forever is the ongoing concern in accounting. So, what do we need so the firm will keep producing and making this amount of cash flow? They need machines and equipments. Therefore, we need to have here capital expenditure. And since we pay for machines and equipments, therefore we need to subtract minus capital expenditure minus capex also for any firm to keep operating they need raw material and that's why we need to subtract the a change in net operating working capital so it will be here minus a change in net operating working capital we get net income depreciation and interest all this from the income statement we get capex and the change in net operating working capital from balance sheet Therefore, we need only one income statement, but here we need two balance sheets in order to calculate capex and change in net operating working capital. Therefore, in order to calculate free cash flow to firm for any company, we need to have one income statement and at least two balance sheets. Then, can we calculate free cash flow to equity from free cash flow to firm or using the same concept? Yes, we can. We know that free cash flow to equity is the cash flow available to shareholders only. So this means that if we paid something to debt holders, that's fine. Therefore, I need to remove interest multiplied by one minus tax rate from our formula for free cash flow to equity. So it will be net income, add back depreciation, minus capital expenditure, minus change in net operating work capital. Then we need to add net debt. Therefore, in order to calculate free cash flow to equity, we get net income and depreciation from income statement. We use capex, a change in net operating work capital and net debt from the balance sheet. Therefore, we need one income statement and two balance sheets in order to be able to calculate free cash flow to equity.